what can we expect from the, the 4D film and, and also what you're doing in the film? Okay, so 4D um, basically brings, makes you feel like you're in the environment that you're watching. Mm -hmm. So the audience member almost feels like they're there. And it's little things like smells. So you'll have a little card where at certain points in the movie you're going to smell this card and you'll be in it. And I hope they all smell good and not bad. I read about that, but, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's really awesome how Robert decides, he's like, okay, I'm going to change this up and it hasn't been done or, or it hasn't been done in a long time and I'm going to try it. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, I can say I tried. <laughs> that's one thing with Robert is he's fearless. So, um, you're and close I with him. I read that you're close with him. Are you guys, do you hope to work on more projects with him in the future? I would, I would love to. Robert, um, he's really like my dad. He took over kind of that role for me growing up. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, he walked me down the aisle. He gave me away at my wedding, which I couldn't wow. have asked for anybody else. Yeah. And he's, I love him so much. And this is the happiest I've ever seen him. Um, it was funny coming back on set. Because I'm like, I could not believe. We were like waxing nostalgic. We got on set. And all of our old gadgets were there with all the old sets. I'm like, I can't wow, believe. Wow, that must be so great to it just be a so part of that world. It was so weird. Oh. It was so weird. And then to see, like, these new little kids walking by holding our gadgets. Joe and I were like, we can take these kids out. We can take them out. <laughs> no, but they're adorable. Rowan and Mason are, are really good. They're really, really good and on it. And I think the one thing that I, that I wish that they had had, that Daryl and I had, was we had no idea what we were getting into. Mm -hmm. When we got the job and we went in, we just knew that it was a cool project to be working on because mm -hmm. there were all these gadgets and we were spies and it was still about the excitement of filming, not I'm filming a movie. It was still very young and innocent. Mm -hmm. Whereas um, I think with the new kids, they came in going, we're the new spy kids. And, and I just wish that they had that kind of you know, innocent, naivete, more, more of that, na yeah. yeah, naivete to it instead of um, going in already knowing Taking, what it will become, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, but, you know, once you know, you know, so it's not, you can't really change that. But that was one thing that I so really So are you the grown-up, grown-up spy? I know? am. I'm the grown-up spy in, in Spy Kids 4. Um, the Spy Kids division had been shut down ever since Spy Kids 3. Judy and I uh -huh. um, have gone separate ways at the beginning of the film. Um, and... Jessica Alba plays my aunt. She is Antonio Banderas' sister in the film. And she is trying to retire, like all spies do, mm -hmm. and get sucked back into the spy life. And these children, who are my cousins, end up discovering um, their aunt's, their stepmom's secret. Right. So we go in and um, we have to stop this evil timekeeper, who is played by Jeremy Piven, who is trying to take over the world like he's taking all the time away from the world so i know right he's fantastic he got in there and he, he owned it but um but literally like there will be eight hours left in a day instead of 24 hours he's literally mm. stealing time and soon there will be no time left and all will be gone so it's up to us and of course the new spy kids who we train and give awesome gadgets to to go in and save the world Hey guys, I'm Alexa Vega from Spy Kids 4D. Check out LATeenFestival.com.